Ever since I began learning to code three years ago, it was my dream to build a lifestyle where I could live around the world working from tropical destinations while making a million dollars a year from apps that I had coded myself. Today, three years later, now that I have built this lifestyle, I wanted to show a typical day in the life of what my life looks like building a million dollar app from, at this time, Bali, Indonesia. My days usually start between 7 and 8 a.m. What I like to do first is to go outside and get a bit of sunlight into my eyes because I have learned from various sources that the best thing that you can do in the morning is to get some sunlight. So I like to go to this balcony that I have in my villa to check some emails, sort of plan out the work for the day and just generally enjoy the morning. Currently, I'm working mainly on my startup RevTrack that has now made, as we can see here, $45,000 in revenue. So I'm about five percent of the way through to building my dream million dollar app if you're wondering what this startup does it is a revenue tracking software for youtubers the core problem we are solving is allowing youtubers to understand which videos actually generate leads and revenue and not just views <laughs> a.m. we head to breakfast so often we will have breakfast inside but today we decided to go to one of the many amazing cafes here in Bali and I just love riding around the scooter in the morning the cafe we went to is this one called 7 a.m. I had a nice scrambled egg toast as well as some black coffee it's time to get back home and back to coding. The best part about coding in 2025 is the AI tools that we have available. The AI tool that I use is called Augment AI. I made this video on it before and why I use the specific tool over many alternatives like Cursor AI. I do have a co-founder, but he's simply dealing with all the marketing and he is non-technical. So I've done all of the technical work completely on my own. And a large part of that is thanks to all of these AI tools. At around noon, I realized that my haircut absolutely sucks. So I get on the scooter again and go get a haircut in this local place. After I'm done, I head back home. Now, something that will surprise you when you build an application that has real users is that a lot of your work will actually look like this, where I'm just on my phone responding to messages on our support channel from our users. Listening to users is the most important part of your job once you have real users with your application because this is how you can find out what you should build and what needs to be fixed in your application to make it better and therefore to make your startup make more money. At 2 p.m. I have this healthy lunch. Ordering out in Bali is super cheap but I mainly still like to eat home cooked food simply because it is much easier to eat healthy when you know exactly the ingredients that go into your food usually around 3 3 30 p.m we head to the gym and this time we get stuck in the infamous bali traffic this is probably one of the worst parts of being in bali because bali is a small island it is struggling to handle the amount of tourism that is on the island because the physical infrastructure like the road simply cannot keep up with the amount of people that are here it's not usually this bad but sometimes it can literally be standstill traffic like this finally we make it to the gym where i have my usual hour long workouts i usually go to the gym around five times a week with a split where i train chest and shoulders on two days legs on two days and back on one day and often i also finish on my workout with and a half or an hour of cardio to improve my cardiovascular health. I find that the more money I make, the less focused I'm actually on money and the more focused I am on simply health, which is why I pay for pretty much the most expensive gym subscription that I can possibly get in Bali. <laughs> At 5 p.m. we usually head home, but this time we decided to go and watch the sunset. Bali has probably the best sunset that I've ever seen out of any place in the world. We go to this beach, Varung. This is essentially like local little restaurant right by the beach where I have some Indonesian food for dinner. While again doing a little bit of light work, like responding to messages from my co-founder, responding to our customers while enjoying the beautiful Bali sunset.
after sunset we head home before going home we take a stop at this spot in bali because what bali also does best is these things protein shakes they have many places that sell these amazing protein shakes which are an amazing way to get a lot of extra protein in so we head home i get back to work around 7 30 p.m for one to two more hours while sipping my protein shake and sometimes work as a software engineer especially on your own startup can look like this but overall i would not trade this lifestyle for anything i have the freedom to work when i want on what i want and especially from where i want now whether you're looking to build a lifestyle like this where you're working on your own applications or you're just looking to get a job as a programmer if you're looking to get started with learning to code i have a program where i teach the basics and the foundations of programming to make you an employable programmer as fast as possible this is not a golden ticket to success by any means the biggest determinant of your success is going to be your resilience and your ability to keep going when things get tough but if you're looking for a bit of help in that beginning process when you're not really sure what you're doing and you're willing to invest a bit of money to fast track the process a little bit i highly recommend you check out my program python development bootcamp from the first link down below in the description if you want to hear more details on how i built this startup how it made more than thirteen thousand dollars in the first day of launch and how i'm planning to build it into a million dollar application you can watch this video right here so watch that video next and i will see you in the next one